so just another example for you with using the geometric sequences. Um, this is on page 26, just looking at a word problem. Uh, helpful with the diagram stuff, so let's look how this works. On the first day of his training, Gerard hits 104 hockey balls. Okay, first day of training, that means A is going to be equal to 104. On the second day, he hits 156, and on his third, he hits 234. How many will you have hit in total? Oh, that means I'm looking for a sum after his fourth training session. So that's n equals 4. I'm looking for the sum up to the fourth. So if I think about my formula, I need to make sure I figure out what r is. And it looks like I've got the rest. So how the diagram can help you is remember, think about what's going on here. My first term was 104. My second term was 156. My third term was 234. And the fourth term, well, I'm not sure what that is yet. But if I wanted to figure out what r is, r is going to be, again, second term on top of the first term as a fraction. And what do we get? 156 divided by 104, 1 1.5. So r here is equal to 1.5. And now that I've got that, I can go straight to the sum formula and use that. Or you could potentially just do this the easy way and go 2, 3, 4 times 1.5. 3, 5, 1, and then you could add up those four numbers. But again, in the internal, you have to demonstrate use of formula. So if you actually want credit for it, you need to show you're working using the formula. So the sum for the first four terms, that's what that little four means. This is all one thing together. And your calculator, if you're using Solver, you just put an x for it. a is 104 times 1 minus r is 1.5 to the power of 4, fourth term we're looking to sum up to. And here we have 1 minus 1.5 in brackets. So 104 times 1 minus 1.5 to the power of 4 divided by 1 minus 1.5. And here, sum to the first four terms, he's going to hit 845 hockey balls after his first four training sessions. So yeah, use the diagram, set them up for you like you were using with AS in over T to help you problem solve what's going on with the question.